Question 2. Consider a train that can speed up with an acceleration of 20 km per second square and slow down with a deceleration of 100 km per second square. Find the minimum time for the train to travel between two stations 2 km apart. You may assume that the train has to stop at every station. If you want to solve this question algebraically, it will be quite complicated. Here, I provide an alternative approach by the use of velocity time diagram. In a velocity time diagram, the gradient of a slope is the acceleration. Since the train first accelerates at 0.2 m per second square, we draw a slope with a gradient 0.2. The train will then reach a maximum velocity denoted by V prime here, and beyond this point, it starts to decelerate at 1 meter per second square. We then draw another slope with gradient minus 1. Clearly, the total distance traveled by the train is equal to the area under the two slopes, or in other words, the area of the triangle. To calculate the area, we first try to find the relation between the time of acceleration and deceleration and also the maximum velocity v prime. We can relate v prime to t1 by knowing that tangent theta1 is equivalent to the gradient 0.2 and we can show that t1 is equal to phi v prime. The gradient of minus 1 is equal to the tangent of theta2 but for our purpose of finding the area we need the adjacent theta 2 prime, whose tangent is just negative tangent of theta 2. After all, it's not hard to see that T2 is equal to V prime. Compared with T1, we can further find that T1 is 5 times the value of T2. Finally, we can start finding the area of triangle. To simplify the equation, we can split the triangle into two right angle triangles marked with red and green respectively. For the red triangle, the base is T1 and the height is V prime. While for the green triangle, the base is T2 and the height is again V prime. Next, we can extract out the common factor and also replace T1 to 5 T2. Then, we also need to remember to replace V prime to T2. With all this, we are able to calculate T2 to be 25.82 seconds. The total time traveled by the train is the sum of T1 and T2, which is just 6 T2. So the total time is 154.92 seconds and is approximately 155 seconds. Hence, the answer is E.